Hey guys, so I was going through all of my old Harry Potter room tour videos. I do have a playlist for them if you'd like to check it out. And I noticed I haven't shown you all my Harry Potter DVDs and videos for a while, so that's what I'm going to do here. So without further ado, this is all of my Harry Potter DVDs and videos. Just for the purposes of this video, I do have Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them twice on DVD, but I won't be showing it here because I showed that in my Fantastic Beasts update. So we'll start with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, move all the way down to The Deathly Hallows Part 2, and then we'll do some box sets and some miscellaneous DVDs. So first up I have this little one and I can't remember where this came from. I know my dad bought this off eBay for me but I can't remember where it originally came from. Please if you know can anyone tell me where this DVD comes from? I'm sure it's part of a set. Then we have the ultimate edition of Philosopher's Stone. This is my only ultimate edition so far. I do want to try and get all of them but they can go for quite a lot of money. And this is the back of that one and I'll quickly show you what you get inside. So this is what it looks like inside side it's really really gorgeous you've got all these nice pictures oh I love it so much so you of course get the DVD inside and I think there's a there's quite a few discs you also get this book creating the creatures of Harry Potter which is really really cool it's concept arts and things and finally you get some limited edition cards so we have Harry Potter and that's what it looks like on the back and McGonagall. Then I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on VHS tape. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is an American import. Obviously, we call it Philosopher's here. Another Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which looks exactly the same, if I bring this one back. But this is the special widescreen edition. I do adore this cover. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on UMD. Now, again, I believe this comes with a box set. And I think I do have the box set that this comes in. But this is the DVD on its own. Then we have the widescreen edition of Philosopher's Stone. Then we have this DVD on the right, which looks exactly the same as the one on the left-ish. However, if you flip it round, this also has Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on it, which ties in nicely to the next part of the video. And I also have another double disc just here, which, in my opinion, looks like a copy to be fair, but it's actually not. I thought, that when I first got this, I thought it was a copy. So let's move on to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on UMD. I have it on VHS twice, just because one of the VHS covers is green, <laughs> or cases, sorry, is green. That's literally the only difference, I think. And I have the widescreen edition of Chamber of Secrets, so I don't have that many Chamber of Secrets on their own. Next up, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So I have the UMD of Prisoner of Azkaban, and the two disc edition of Prisoner of Azkaban, and that's the only two standalone DVDs I have for Prisoner of Azkaban. Then I have this Harry Potter Years 1 to 3 6 disc DVD set, which of course contains Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and Prisoner of Azkaban. Next up, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So I have it on HD DVD. I think this is my only HD DVD disc that I own. Goblet of Fire 3 disc edition. Goblet of Fire 1 disc edition. And Goblet of Fire on UMD. Next up, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I have Order of the Phoenix on UMD. This version, which I believe is a 1 disc edition. And the 2 disc special edition. And that's all of the standalone Order of the Phoenix DVDs I have, but I do have this Years 1 to 5 box set, which, as you can see, cost me £3.50. And uh, it's got, of course, Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, and Order of the Phoenix. Next up, we have Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and I have quite a few DVDs for this, for some reason. We have the two-disc edition, the Blu-ray, the two-disc edition again, but with Ron Weasley and Femira Greyback. This is a very battered copy. It's all horrible and icky, so I need to get a new one of these. The UMD. The two-disc edition, which I've just realised is exactly the same as this one, right? So I'm trying to figure out why I have two. Let's check the back. I think they're exactly the same. Let me have a quick check. Yep, they are exactly the same, so one will be going back to the charity shop. And finally we have this one, which again is the exact same as the two-disc edition, just without the slipcover. So, <laughs> I don't know why I've got that one either. Moving on to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. We have the two-disc special edition of Deathly Hallows Part 1. The exclusive Dobby DVD sleeve from Sainsbury's. This triple play Deathly Hallows, which contains Blu-ray, DVD and a digital copy. And this Blu-ray, which is unfortunately missing a disc, but I think it is the same as this one. Again, I don't know what I'll do with that one. I don't really want to give it to a charity shop when it's missing a disc, so I'll probably just keep it anyway. Then on to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I have this two-disc special edition. This new and sealed Harry Potter 3D on Blu-ray. 
the triple play which contains blu-ray dvd and digital copy which again is new and sealed and this random disc <laughs> Next up we have a couple of box sets. So we have this new and sealed 8 film collection on Blu-ray. Can't really show you much about it, like I said, because it's new and sealed. And we have the 8 film collection open, which is just regular, not Blu-ray. And this is the box set I use when I'm doing a rewatch of the films. And finally we just have some miscellaneous Harry Potter DVDs. So we have a new and sealed Harry Potter A History of Magic, which I watched on the BBC when it came out. It says celebrating the 20th anniversary of the first Harry Potter book with footage from the British Library's Harry Potter A History of Magic exhibition. I probably um, won't open this right now because I still have this recorded on my television. Then we have this Harry Potter interactive DVD game. So this is technically a maybe a video game. I'm not sure. I didn't put it in the video game category when I did my Harry Potter video games video. I do also have two of the Harry Potter scenes, which I didn't think to put in this video. Um, but yeah, I guess they're DVDs as well, so I do have two Harry Potter scenes. Then I have the documentary Magic Beyond Words, which I bought in Asda. I This is new and sealed as well, but I have watched this. I have this as a digital download on my laptop. Next up we have Harry Potter on the Road, which is another um, d documentary kind of thing and it's a promotional content disc and I think this is unofficial, I can't remember, an unauthorised um, tribute, there we go, The Magical World of J.K. Rowling. I can't remember watching this so I'll have to give it a rewatch but it is unofficial. And finally I have this wizard CD-ROM which I'm not quite sure what it is. Well it includes games, puzzles, printouts, I don't think it's an actual DVD, it's one of those um, things that you put on your laptop years ago I remember these and you get like posters and, and things like that so that's all of the Harry Potter DVDs and VHS tapes I own apart from of course Fantastic Beasts somewhere to find them and the two scenes that I forgot to show you so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed if there's any more Harry Potter collection bits you'd like to see an updated video for then please let me know I'll see you all soon bye bye